Hey everybody, welcome to week two of our uh, Summer in the Miners devotions that we're doing as part of our summer series at Journey Church. And I uh, hope that as you're reading uh, the minor prophets in the Old Testament and the Gospels of the New Testament, that you're uh, learning some things, you're uh, probably even have some questions about some things, and that's okay. Uh, if you ever uh, encounter a passage that it's really kind of like you're like, what in the world is this about? I'd love to talk to you about it, so feel free to reach out or to catch me on a Sunday and let's talk a little bit about it. We want you to grow in wisdom as you uh, engage with the scriptures. Uh, this morning we're reading from Hosea chapter 8 and Matthew chapter 8, and the scripture that I highlighted was from uh, Hosea 8 chapter 8 verse 4, and it says this, the people have appointed kings without my consent and princes without my approval. By making idols for themselves from their silver and gold, they have brought about their own destruction. And uh, for my observation today, the O in soap, I wrote down, one of God's issues with Israel is them making major decisions for their nation without seeking his wisdom and guidance. They may have been seeking advice from other gods or idols or the priests of those idols. James 1 in the New Testament says that if we lack wisdom, we should ask the Lord for it. God saw Israel's decisions as another rejection of himself. And the way I applied that today, the application, the A in SOAP is this. How often do I make significant decisions without taking time to seek God's wisdom? More than I would like to admit. This November, we will choose our president and other leaders. May the Church of Christ do that prayerfully. Like that idea that they choose chose kings and princes without seeking God and we're going to choose leaders as well and we need to do that prayerfully and with wisdom my prayer today the p and soap i said my prayer is lord i ask for your wisdom and guidance today when i need to make decisions for my life family and church may i seek your wisdom and your will amen and that that's a great prayer i think for all of us that when we are making our choices and decisions in life are we that we do them prayerfully and seeking the will and the guidance of the lord Well, I hope you have a great week this week. It's a good way to get started with our soap journals today and uh, look forward to talking to you again tomorrow morning.